Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. My name is John Charles, President of Cascade Policy Institute. In reading the staff report, I was noticing on page two that these are secured by uh, many things, including liens on future payroll taxes, and bonds will be uh, full faith and credit obligations, so you agree to pay bondholders from any and all lawful sources. So this continues the trend by which increasingly first claim on your revenues go to Wall Street bondholders and then retirees. And then if you have any money left over, you'll put some transit service out there. And given that in the last eight years, your service has dropped by 14% and continues to drop, at some point, the public might get upset about that. And you're just continuing to do more of it. Now, the second point I'll draw to your attention is on page one of the staff memo at the bottom where it talks about how safe this is because you're bonding against expected revenues from Congress and the FDA has a 100% track record in honoring their total obligations. Well, you know, people who are uh, during an investment bubble, during the time they're creating a bubble, they never see what's going wrong. If they did, there wouldn't be a bubble. And uh, if you've bought stocks and bonds, you know there's always an expression, past performance is not a guarantee of future results. And maybe one of the reasons that there's 100% um, track record here is because <clears throat> communities on the receiving end of light rail projects actually wanted the project. But the election changed it. There are now majority members on Milwaukee City Council who don't want Milwaukee Light Rail. There's now a majority of members on the Clackamas County Commission who hate this project. There are two people who are no longer in, their political career is winding down because four days before a ballot measure was to be voted on, they took $20 million of debt to the county to hand over to you. So what could go wrong when uh, we have a 100% track record in the past? Does that guarantee future results? Well, not really. FDA can promise lots of things. Congress has to actually appropriate money. FDA doesn't tell Congress what to do. And I'm not saying what's going to happen because of course I don't know, as you don't, but what, happen, what would happen if perhaps letters started arriving from the Milwaukee City Council or the Clackamas County Commission repeatedly over the next couple of years to Congress asking them not to fund the project because we don't want the project. You have a responsibility to undertake due diligence to look at all the things that could go wrong. Some things could go wrong, and if they do, you're, these are full faith and credit obligations. Riders are now third on your priority list. So I know how these votes go. I know what's going to happen here, but I'm just saying things can go wrong. 